Scientific prediction has nothing to do with horoscopes or crystal balls. <clears throat> Scientific prediction has everything to do with this. A picture of a hill? No, Stuart. This is a bell curve, or should I say the bell curve. And it was a mathematical epiphany in its day. In the mid-19th century, scientists noticed that when they measured large samples of various things, the results tended to cluster around an average, and when plotted on a graph, took the shape of a bell. For example, you're probably wondering why I've had you change seats today. Now, would everyone please stand up? Class height is an example of something we can measure using a bell curve. Oh, great. Now, although many of you are still growing, most of you fit into what is called a normal distribution, height-wise. But at the far edges of the bell curve, we have the abnormally tall and the atypically short. No offense to either of you. Oh, none taken. Imagine how exciting it must have been for those early scientists to realize that one simple shape can be used to describe almost any set of data, from population growth to the average length of a lima bean, even CD sales, which you should be working on after class. How are things going at the Children's Literacy Center? It's really kind of fun helping kids read. And if you ever need a closed book recitation of the Velveteen Rabbit, I'm your girl. How's Project Keep Holsey Green? Awesome. I've managed to preserve an endangered species of swamp louse board. That's great, I think. Yeah, but Durst is thrilled. Somehow, I don't think Durst will be as thrilled by you creating a Magnet 360 promo package instead of fulfilling your community service requirement, Marshall. Please, don't get me started on Durst. I can't believe she's making me write an essay for the stupid Holsey Howler school bulletin. <laughs> Nobody even reads it. I do. Well, you're the only one. Marshall, we all have to fulfill our mandatory community service. You just keep on putting yours off. Hey, I'm as much for community service as the next guy, but I should be able to spend my free time doing whatever I want. Hey, Lucas. Feast your eyes on this baby. Great. Did you finish the essay? I uh, haven't started. Didn't Durst ask you for 1,500 words on the Blake Holsey of tomorrow? I need something easy. Horoscopes are easy. I think she meant, like, ways to improve the future of our school. Yeah, well, uh, she's gonna get some predictions for the future of some of Blake Holsey's finest students because that's all I have time for. Okay, let's see. Tomorrow, it is likely that a math whiz will have an off day. A skater girl will take an unexpected trip. A football star will save the day. A conspiracy freak gains unexpected rewards from a surprising source. A wise leader will meet an old friend. And for the grand finale, the Holsey Howler predicts a member of the science club will diet. Save. Send and bed. <sighs> okay, so my mom drops me at this boarding school, and I'm thinking it's like all the other places I've gone. Students, teachers, principal, you know, like normal schools, but it's not. Weird stuff happens here. Really weird stuff. And what's this guy doing here? Is his floating sphere the key to the mystery? Something's going on and someone's behind it. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it.
there is nothing wrong with a Blake Halsey high. <laughs> okay, so I'll have it to you today. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, you will. Listen, Magnet 360 is the only band you need to hear. Don't worry about booking time with anybody else. We rock. <laughs> all right, all right, thanks a lot, I'll, uh... I'll, I'll call you tonight. <laughs> what happened to you? My alarm clock didn't go off and I guess I slept in. <laughs> I had no time to get ready and I went to the wrong class, twice. I'm having the worst day. Guys, you'll never guess what. My mom just called, and we're going on a trip to Europe for the summer. You and your mom will finally get to spend time with each other. That's great, Josie. What happened to you? It is a long story. Dad, uh, sorry. Can you, um, say that again? Guess what I just caught? No way. That's right, the tag bass in the annual tournament. And I couldn't have done it without that great new fly you designed. That's, that's great, Dad. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. My dad just won $5,000 in a fishing tournament. And he's giving me half. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> and it's all thanks to your column in The Howler. Even though Durst is going to kill you when she sees it. What are you talking about? Here. It says right here, a conspiracy freak gains unexpected rewards from a surprising source. That's gotta be me. You don't really believe Marshall predicted this, do you? Normally? No, but look what it says about you. A skater girl will take an unexpected trip. What does yours say? So, you give everybody else something good, and you give me the day of my life. What are you talking about? It's right there in your stupid column. <laughs> you can't be serious. I made all this stuff up. Marshall Wheeler, come to the principal's office immediately. Oh, man, now what? We got CDs to get out. Not only did you flagrantly flout the rules regarding community service by writing a, a frivolous prediction column, but you've also written terrible things about your own friends. I, I'm not even sure which punishment fits this crime. Hello. Marvin? Lipschitz? <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> I'd love to get together with... Oh! <laughs> on a moment, please. Uh, we'll continue this later, Mr. Wheeler, when I've decided just what I'm going to do with you. Principal Durst, is that by any chance a, an old friend of yours on the phone? I'm not sure that it's any of your business, Mr. Wheeler, but yes, it is. Why? <laughs> no reason. So, Marvin. Now what? This isn't funny, Marshall. Why did you write that one of us will die? <laughs> what? It says right there. You wrote a member of the science club will die. <clears throat> okay, look, I'll admit, I may have been a little careless about this stupid assignment, and I'm sorry that I gave you an off day, <laughs> but I, I wrote that a member of the science club will diet. I did not write about anybody dying. Did it ever occur to you to check your work? No, Mom, it didn't. It's just a dumb typo. Come on, Stu. Look out! 
Whoa, Stu. You're a regular wrecking machine today. Stu nearly took my head off at the shop put a couple minutes ago. You guys okay? Barely. Anyone seen my javelin? What? Ah, uh, it's a long metal thing with the... Uh, yeah, honey. I know what it is. You just about killed us with it. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Try working on your aim. What do you do? That was no typo, Marshall. An inch either way, and Lucas and I would have been shish kebab. If it hadn't been for Vaughn's warning, which you predicted, a football star will save the day. Vaughn's our starting quarterback. Look, it's not my fault if the predictions are coming true. I think we'd better go talk to Z.